Hello darlings, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. In this video today, I'm really gonna be showing you guys how I cover my dark spots and all my acne scarrings. Um, I've had acne scarrings from I was about 15 years old and as soon as I... <laughs> Get out of my room. Is this a workout Get room? out of my studio, please. Is this a gym? This oh. is my studio. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the video. So yes, I started having acne from when I was about 15 years old and it never really went away. I've been interested in makeup for as long as I can remember but I really fell in love with makeup when I started to have blemishes and I just wanted a way to conceal them so that they would not be seen and that the first thing that people would see when they look at me would not be my scars. I've had to learn from an early age of how to cover my acne scarring to look a lot more appealing to the eye when I go out in public. So um, over the years I've had several different ways of doing this and making it look very nice. So if you have a lot of blemishes on your face like I do, worry no more. Just keep on watching this video to find out how I got from this to this real quick. So this is my bare skin and as you guys can see I have a great deal of scarring. Um, I really don't understand why my pimples always leave these dark spots but this is always how it's been. So anyways I start off by applying my moisturizer and I use coconut oil for my moisturizer. And after moisturizing I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Prime. And I'll be linking all the products that I'm using, so be sure to check the description box. Next, I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Corrector. And this one is a real general in covering up those dark spots. This orange corrector is basically what cancels out all the dark spots so that they'll be less um, visible before I go in with my foundation. And normally when I'm using a stick foundation, um, I most times don't need to use a corrector but since i'll be using a liquid foundation it's always something that i need to give me that really full flawless coverage so next i'm going in with my milani two-in-one foundation and i'm using the shades 09 and 11 and this is the foundation i've been using for several months and i really like it it is pretty good on its own if you're not going to color correct your skin you can actually use this foundation but you may just have to layer it on a few more times but when I really want a full coverage I prefer to color correct first and then I go in with this foundation and I'm using the Real Techniques expert face brush to blend in my foundation and I'm just using stippling technique and just pushing it into my skin gently um, and I prefer to use my fingers to um, apply and blend my color my color corrector because I find that the fingers help to warm up the product and allow it to blend a lot more seamlessly into the skin and it does take a bit of effort so you just want to make sure you take your time and blend it as much as possible now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Warm Honey to conceal my under eyes and highlight the other areas of my face that I wish to bring forward and then I'm going to be using this Damp Beauty Sponge from Real Techniques to blend my concealer. And I prefer to use a beauty sponge to blend only my concealer and not to, and not to actually blend my foundation because I find that when I use any sort of sponge, it tends to take off um, a lot of the product when I'm doing the blending. And you do not want that when you have blemishes. You want something that's gonna blend your makeup nice and seamlessly and at the same time leave um, enough product on your face so that you get a nice full coverage. So I find that a flat top brush, any one of your choice will give a better finish. So now I'm using a clean side of the same sponge to blend my contour. Now I'm just dabbing my eyes with the same sponge to pat away the excess moisture before I go in and set my concealer. Now I went ahead and did my brows off camera but no need to worry I've recently uploaded an eyebrow tutorial 
which I'll be linking in the iCard so you guys can go and check that out if you want to see how I did my brows. Now I went straight into baking and then I'm priming my eyes for my eyeshadow. I'm using these two brown eyeshadows in the crease of my eyes. First I'll be going in with the lighter brown eyeshadow and then I'm going to be concentrating the darker brown mostly to the outermost portion of my eyes. Now I'm applying these two colors to my lid and I wet my brush before doing so. I'm using this black eyeshadow to line my top and bottom lid. So after removing the excess powder, I'm just going in with my bronzer and then I'm applying my face powder to even out the entire thing. Now I'm taking my favorite highlighter currently, this one is from H&M um, and I'm just applying it to the spots that I like to highlight. And next I'm just snapping on these lashes and I still struggle to put my lashes on no lie but I'm getting there now I'm applying some of the same highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes and then I'm moving on to my lips so I'm using this dark brown pencil to outline my lips and then I'm applying some lip gloss and I'm applying this mainly to the center of my lips and then I'm blending them And that is basically it for this tutorial guys I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I thank you all so much for watching please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also to hit that bell so that you'll be notified each time I post a new video remember to also like comment and share thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video